Hi everyone, welcome to the restaurant show and we have got a beautiful, beautiful plate here um, and of course made and prepared for us by executive chef Hugo Lee and his sous chef Charlie uh, from Victoria Divina and uh, this is summer on a plate. I love it. Thank what is the name? Much. Okay, give me the right well, name of it. we got a uh, fresh black <laughs> grouper okay. with a Prosecco grape sauce. With a Prosecco grape sauce. Sauce. That's how chef says it, <laughs> sauce. I love it. Okay. <laughs> it's rested on a uh, fingerling potato, asparagus. That's what's underneath it, is okay. fingerling potatoes and asparagus, and, and of course, beautiful red grapes on top. And, um, and I'm guessing that you use this prosecco, the prosecco in a sauce. And we're lucky that they're actually gonna show us how to make it, and a little bit of the techniques and some different suggestions on it. And while they're making it, of course, I have a lot of questions to ask about what's been going on at the restaurant. But let's go ahead and start making okay. the, the, the entree. What, what you're gonna do, you put two, two or three tablespoons of olive oil. Of olive oil, okay, okay. And Beautiful. then you're gonna season the fish. Okay, and now this is a piece of grouper. It's a, a fresh local grouper. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Now, any kind of, and what kind of seasoning are you using uh, there? Calgarian spice. A, a Calgary, spi a Calgary, yeah, spice. Calgary yeah. spice, a Calgary spice, yeah. Very, very nice, and I like it because it's a little, you can a see the flaky, seasoning, you yeah. See, you know, I like that. It will give you a little crust on the fish too. And that's well. important yeah. is having that crust because that's really gonna seal in all those juices. All those yeah. Juices. All right, good deal, so that so. looks. And that's an, what's about what size is that piece? That's about four ounces, five ounces. Four to five ounces, yeah. which is perfect. That's just enough. That's just enough because sometimes you overwhelm, you know, with yes. too much portions. And I too. think too, that's the key to it is the right portions, because and also in cooking it, because yeah. if you it's too big, it's going to take too long to cook it sometimes. And that that one would take about two minutes cooking in pan sear. Okay, two minutes to pan sear. All right, and then what do we have going and here while that's you, cooking? What you go here is uh, you're gonna slice on asparagus. Ooh, these so they can see. Okay, nice bite-sized pieces nice of bite asparagus. Size. All the way they will, and, you know. Now I noticed that's a thin asparagus. I like the thin better than the thick well, one. Well, what happens when you cook them, I don't boil them first, I cook them straight to the fat. Okay, no, don't boil them ahead of time because then they're just gonna become too, oh, I love this. You always use these beautiful, um, Fingerling potatoes, yeah, I love it. Try to be organic, you know. Yeah. Try to do something different. Yeah. Try to be using just mashed now, potato and everything. Now, did you blanch these a little bit? We blanch them okay. for two minutes on boiling water and salt. So when you're going to do something with the potato, you do want to cook that off just a little yeah, bit ahead of time, but not the asparagus because asparagus is something that's quick. Yeah, it's quick. Yes. So, and can you tell me what that one is? Because I know some people have never. Potato. Purple potato. Yeah. You can get that at the grocery you can store. Get it at the grocery and store. this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. I love it. Okay, so, all right. And then we're gonna remove the piece after it's done. After, okay. It. We're gonna do both sides. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yes. See, I like how you can see the seasoning on there, because I think sometimes when people season, if they're just using salt and pepper, you can't see it. Yeah. And a lot of people use uh, Montreal steak Montreal seasoning. Montreal steak seasoning, yes. It's too salty. Ah, so okay. That's why I look for something different. Okay, beautiful. Okay. So Great. you got a piece of fish there. Okay. Now we're gonna uh, do the sauce with it. You're gonna do the sauce. Yes. Okay, wonderful. So, so what do we what do? You do? You put uh, two table, two cloves of garlic. Of garlic. Okay. So to deglaze, to deglaze it. Deglaze. Pan. Okay. So deglazing, you guys. A lot of times, the recipe will call for deglazing after you've seared off your meat. So what? So deglazing is just what? De deglazing means uh, using the residues from the fish. Yes. To yes. Concentrate the flavor on the sauce. Ah, so you're not missing any bit of flavor. No. <laughs> You have to use it so you can get you it. You want it all in there. Otherwise, it would be a little plain. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and, and why lose that flavor, right? It's, yeah, already, yeah, there. it's you, already there. You paid for it. <laughs> so what you do, you put a little uh, Prosecco wine. Prosecco wine, okay. okay. And that's so the deglazing. That's the deglazing. That's the deglazing, guys. Okay. okay. So oh, when you got everything so there, you just can put all the vegetables. Oh. So the deglazing, what that does is by putting that wa the prosecco in there, it kind of gets all those little all knit, those little pieces yeah. um, from the pan, and then now you're putting in your yeah. vegetables. The potato oh. will release a level of starch, so it will take the sauce too, as well. Very nice, very very okay. nice, good you, deal. You're gonna season it. With okay. Salt. A little bit of salt, of course. A always of always salt. have a little bit of salt. We put a touch of lemon. To yes. give a little citrus to and it, it really I always feel like uh, the lemon or lime it always brightens the yeah, flavor it, it really brightens flavor. it out yeah and then you add the butter to it of course <laughs> I mean if you have to put the butter <laughs> I love oh my so, gosh and that way you reduce everything together yeah and it will come out how beautiful that is and it I, I know it's not that simple, but it is that simple if you just take the time to, to kind of think about what you're gonna put together here. So now, how do we get 
to this beautiful piece here. Is that what you're going to build yeah. for me here what, now? What you do is you just get it, uh, the potatoes in the middle. Okay. That is gorgeous. And I love how the purple potato sticks out. It really, it, it just gives a pop of color. Yeah, you know, instead of using a lot of mashed potato, yeah. we try to look for something different. Organic vegetables, I love potatoes. it, yeah. And sometimes mashed potatoes this time of year in the summer isn't really, you know, it's just a little bit too heavy, I feel so like what, sometimes. That's what we do. Okay. We put the fish on top. Beautiful. We get some fresh grapes. Okay. And what a different thing because you're not cooking the grapes, but it no. adds nice bright flavor. Well, you know, color. You're for, yeah, you're looking for the freshness. Yeah. And a little crunchy to the. Yeah, fresh, I know? love it. So, what, what I do is warm it up on this. Just warm it a little sauce. bit so it's not cold. It's not putting cold. it on there. Yeah. And I then love he's going to drizzle. Now, this. tell me while he's drizzling that, um, tell me about you guys are busy. Yeah, we're busy. It's that busy. time of year, and, you know, you're, you are in a hot spot on the island. Reservations. What do I need to do? Uh, you need. It's, uh, we require to have reservations so okay. people won't get upset. Of to course. Waiting, yeah. Know? And we always look for people to get better uh, service. Like, yeah. Service. Um, now, if I don't have reservations, and I want to check it. I know we're running out of time while he's building that. I can eat at the bar though. Too yeah, you is can an eat option. At the bar. We got early dining. We got small plates. Oh, so so if you're going in, or maybe if you're going to catch a movie, because you're over there in Park Plaza, if you're going to catch a movie, you can go in um, and and get some small plates or early dining, which is a great deal. And you can check that out on their website too. But um, all right, so we're finishing up with that beautiful sauce, garlic. The um the color on there is gorgeous. And of course, you guys, please check them out. Um, you know, they're one of the new hot restaurants on the island and um, at the South End. And uh, Executive Chef Lee and his staff are fantastic and they're, they're ready to serve you. <laughs> they're ready to rock and roll. And don't forget, they have those beautiful homemade pastas, which I'm gonna have to ask you again in the fall, we're gonna hit on your butternut squash okay. pasta. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. And uh, we'll be back in just a moment. I love that grouper. I love the use of those grapes. And Chef Lee's always showing us some new things. That purple potato on my grocery list next time I'm going out. Up next, I have some beautiful key lime pie from Chef Herb Britton. And he's going to tell us what's going on down at the Salty Dog.